Coming up is Laura Galt. <laughs> multiple personalities. <laughs> so uh, what? Um, so one question that I wanted to ask you today was, um, what have you been doing in the last few months, especially during the COVID-19 crisis we've come in, I guess? Um, and uh, what what has that, how's that, has that impacted you as an artist? So uh, for the past few months during quarantine, I've been pretty lucky because I've gotten to participate in uh, a reading for a new musical, a reading for a film. Um, I also got to tape an audible podcast about uh, based on a Stephen Stephen King Salem Lot. It was like kind of a short audible play, um, which I'm really excited about. And then I've also just been working on The Outsiders uh, musical, which is going to Francis Ford Coppola is one of the lead producers. So uh, it was supposed to go up at the Goodman Theater this uh, past this summer, but obviously we had to postpone. And so our goal is uh, to have its world premiere next summer in Chicago. So fingers crossed with that. Oh, and, wow. Yeah. That's kind of intense. So, I know. So <laughs> I we're hoping, yourself. you know, live theater, you yeah. know, we're all at an intermission right now. But everyone's so resilient. Theater's been around for thousands of years, so we know it'll come back. We just have to be patient. Yeah. Um, Phillips Olivia, you ask, what do you do being an actor? And so many more things. I think what the, he's, he's asking, from my understanding, is like, um, what roles have you done or maybe are possibly doing, I guess? Yeah. So, actually, so as an actor, Gosh, you just have to hustle all the time. But I do have, I play a bartender in a movie called Getting It. And it actually just came out on VOD on Tuesday. So look for that. It's um, an LGBTQ rom-com and it was shot in Austin. And um, I did a scene at Rain. So that was really fun to, to be in that club and, and to get to film there. And then I also, before the pandemic, filmed a role in a feature called Attic Named Hell. So, just been submitting auditions and, you know, fingers crossed. But, you know, I think as an actor and as an artist, you know, a lot of people have been out of jobs. But I've been really lucky because I also kind of have a side job as speech language pathologist. Um, so, that's helped me to pay my bills. Mm -hmm. And um, so, kind of when the pandemic hit, like, I kind of had to pivot and go online and do that. So it's like juggling my speech pathology job that pays my bills, yeah. but also you know still working as an actor and producer and director. And then during this pandemic, I've also um, like was working on editing and in post production on a film called The Reunion um, that we just locked, and we're starting to submit to film festivals. So, oh wow! Yeah, That's great. Well, I'm glad that was finished. Yes, yes. <laughs> you know, and then also I know you have. Um, you are involved with uh, supporting, you know, differently abled actors. And so, like in the reunion, we do have a woman who's in a wheelchair and she's so talented. Her name's Amanda Marie. And um, so we're really so glad to have her in our film. Tell us about The Outsiders. Well, I'm so excited to tell you guys about The Outsiders. Um, so it is based, it's gonna be a musical. And it's based on the Francis Ford Coppola film that came out in the 80s, along with the Essie Hinton novel that was published in 1967. And Texas band Jamestown Revival is composing the music, along with Justin Levine, who um, got rave reviews for Moulin Rouge on Broadway. And it's really just gonna be magnificent, a magnificent production. And we're gonna have, hopefully, our goal is to have its world premiere next summer at the Goodman Theater in Chicago. And um, we have a great cast, people from Dear Evan Hansen and Hamilton. Um, so really looking forward to that. And anybody who's interested in becoming involved should like reach out at ATX Random and let me know. Because um, we're always looking for like producers and um, we, if people want to get involved as a producer, they should just let me know. We're waving. Oh, oh, hi! Wave, wave, hi, wave, everybody wave. They're all waving. And then also, like, another cool thing is, um, so 
I've been involved with Prom the Musical. Yes. And right before the pandemic, I so know you were working on they, it. They um, they were filming. Oh God. And Meryl Streep and James Corden, Keegan Michael Key, Carrie Washington, Nicole Kidman are all going to be in the film. And it's going to hopefully be released in the fall or like early winter, maybe around Christmas time. We're not sure, but they just like they they finished most of the filming right before the pandemic hit. Um, I think they just have one more scene to um, maybe tape with James Corden, and and they also got the recording done. They did the recording, the cast recording in London right before the pandemic hit. So like, wow. shoo. So right, so right now they're just editing. Right, yeah. Okay. So right now they're in post production, and Ryan Murphy is the executive producer on that. Well, I'm glad that we were able to actually go um, and see still some movies, you know? Yeah. <laughs> because otherwise, like, what is there to watch? Right? right. Well, and the great thing about that, like, if the movie theaters open up, it's going to be released in the movie theaters, but then it will also be available on Netflix as well. That's awesome. So, and then. Hopefully, um, in January, the prom musical tour will launch. So. Sounds good. Yeah. That sounds really fun. Yeah, hopefully. We'll just see. I mean, I don't really know. Um, are you waiting? <laughs> OK. Um, do you want to have any last few words? you want to um, tell us, like, where, maybe, like, what your thoughts of, of where we are and, like, what we can do as artists to con to keep working on our crafts um, during these times? Right, so as artists to keep working on our craft, I think we just have to support one another. And if you know somebody who's struggling, reach out to them, offer your support. Um, and then I think there's just so much opportunity where we can grow as artists. I mean, the Screen Actors Guild has um, some great online programs. I mean. You can look on Instagram, like if you're a dancer, look on La Duca or look on Capizio. They always have dance classes that you can take. I've really enjoyed it. So I've got to take a lot of fun dance classes that I wouldn't normally get to take from um, you know, Broadway stars and choreographers. And it's, it's really, really been amazing. Yeah, I think that's what one thing I noticed with going virtual is the, um, the amount of uh, really good artists and teachers that are just willing to share that you can't really, in the past, we never really had the ability to do that. You'd have to physically go to that location, and I think that's that's really, really cool. Right, I mean, I've really just been amazed about how the artistic community and just many communities have just pivoted and um, how lucky we are that we live in this world of technology that we can, even though we're stuck at home, we can still connect with one another. Yeah, awesome. Well, thank you for being here today. Thank you. <laughs> All right, bye you guys. From LV in the Light, keep loving, keep following, keep liking. Bye. Yeah.